He's Paul Shavari. I'm Mike Mercado here on the Sports Cubicle. We have another rule change that is coming, Paul, and this one had a lot of people upset. In the advance of the 2024 season, this comes to us from the NFL football operations, NFL clubs have voted unanimously to remove the hip drop tackle from the game. A hip drop tackle occurs when a defender wraps up a ball carrier and rotates or swivels his hips, unweighting himself and dropping onto ball carrier's legs during the tackle. Essentially what happened to Mark Andrews. It's putting dead weight on a runner and twisting yourself so that you can drag them down with you with your momentum. And sometimes landing on their legs with your weight. And it's devastating when it happens. And you know, normally Paul, like, I I need to just get this off because it's one of these weird things where I understand them wanting to protect their assets, wanting to protect the most important thing in the NFL to them, which is offense, which is why they're always making rules to benefit quarterbacks. This is, unfortunately, a violent sport that we all know that everybody signs up for for every parent, every guardian from the ages of Pop Warner all the way to high school and then the guys who go play college and and pro football. We know it's a violent sport. You have outlawed their hitbox. This isn't Madden where they can have precise hits and be able to have quick hits and be able to move. And and this is a split-second decision. And in their minds, you have engraved in them. You have now programmed them over 10 years, 15 years, entire generations of football players. Uh, how to tackle. Don't go after the head. You have declared that MCLs, ACLs yeah, don't matter. tackle too high. Don't go after head. Don't lead with the head. Don't put your weight over a quarterback. Mm-hmm. They have for years been programmed to do that. And now you are telling them, well, we've always deemed the clean head. Wrap around, grab the hips, and take down. So are they going to be quicker to call the... Uh, loss of forward momentum, you know, like quicker to the whistle to blow the play dead if a guy's just kind of stopped dead in his tracks for a split second? Let me, let me counter that with another question. Regardless if they do or not, do you trust NFL officials to make no, the right call in that no, moment? And, and, and it's it's not that NFL officials are incompetent. It's just you're throwing so much at them. that It's, it's a so, fast it's, game. It's, it's, it's harder to to officiate the game. I guess I saw the meme, and I don't know how true this would be, but the, the famous ending to Super Bowl 34 where Kevin Dyson came up like a yard or two short on the final play of the game for Rams the, Titans for the uh, the yeah Rams Titans exactly mm-hmm. so I believe the tackler in that was a hip drop tackle so if that were played under the rules today then it would be an untimed down from the one yard line for the Titans to try and punch one it in play. yeah and, and that would be an exciting end to a Super Bowl Steve McNair, right, right, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah change the entire course yeah. of history yeah. you know no greatest yeah. show on turf you know nothing yeah. like that because that's the um, when they ended up winning was yep, that yep, Super Bowl yeah, yeah no no Dick Vermeil yeah. Super Bowl yeah um you know so. If that's true, then is that a less exciting ending? Like, do you want to see the Super Bowl end on an untimed down from the two yard line? I don't. I mean, you know, there's the there's been very exciting plays close to the goal line in the Super Bowl late in the game. So there is that, but at the same time, to me, it's like, well, you're taking out like one one of the few methods you can tackle a player, and two, how is that going to change the course of the game and you're right the officiating how how much does this jumble the officiating which is already hard to do at the end of the day this game is these athletes are so much bigger and so much faster than anything we've ever seen before in this sport and then you put to these are just normal men yeah they may be athletic as officials they are not fast enough they don't have the eye movement as great as they are whatever crew is the best one that's going to call the next super bowl is not fast enough to keep up with Jalen. Johnson versus a Devontae Adams. Good luck calling every single time somebody uses an arm. Somebody maybe uses something for leverage. Good luck keeping up with those fast feet movement. Good luck keeping up when Jason Kelsey has a Montez Sweat coming for Jalen Hurts. Good luck being able to be quick enough, fast enough to make a decision in a split second. And now, you gotta keep intent. You gotta keep angles, math into the equation during an NFC Championship game. Yeah. When Patrick Mahomes is getting tackled by Miles Garrett, What's going to happen then? These are moments that the NFL are putting their players and their officials in. And I think that, once again, is the NFL just flying by the seat of their pants and just seeing what works when it comes to rule changes. You heard a lot of players, former players, coaches, kind of joking in half series saying like, well, eventually we're just going to be playing flag football at the rate that this goes. I'm going to make my bold prediction here. I think we're at the fork in the road right now where like in 20, 30 years, we're either going to have, because we have the technology, to have two, two-hand two touch football or robots playing football. Mm. That's interesting. I mean, I the alternative being— I'm not serious. Don't put money on no, that prediction. But but alternative, that's, that's where I think we're at right now. I mean, the alternative is— are you willing to bet money the future generations of mothers, fathers, and guardians are going to let their children play football? 
not not like our generation saw. That's already happening, though. But I think there's always going to be like the the Hunger Games aspect where people that are trying to find a better life for themselves can only do it through sports if they can. We talk about that about boxing, but we've seen boxing, that. Boxing, basketball, it, football. football it, but it's falling off. Baseball is the ultimate one, though, mm-hmm. where internationally that's why it's been working. NBA internationally will war torn country. Mm-hmm. So it's just going to be something that we got to keep our eyes on because as the rules keep changing and the veil of safety is finally lifted, these are just the ramifications of playing a dangerous sport. But we want to know your thoughts. The NFL has new tackle rules. Is this going to impact the way defense is played? How much will it impact the way defense is played? We want to know your thoughts. We got a whole lot left here on the Sports Cubicle. He's Paul Shavari. I'm Mike Mercado.